John just asked Austin about what this club maybe needs to do to get on the other side of where they've been maybe for the last couple of weeks, get some traction to, to start moving in a forward direction. What was the fine line that may have separated a win here tonight? Uh, I mean, it was a tight hockey game, obviously. Uh, you know, we were doing a pretty good job uh, generating some chances, getting a lot of pucks done that, not giving them too much time and space, but we just can't uh, give up the opportunities, uh, especially to the middle of the ice that make it, make it tough on our goaltenders. And, um, you know, it's uh, obviously just, it's, 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 it's hard to explain, but, uh, you know, it's just the attention to detail each and every shift, uh, and, it's, and it's hard to do. And, you got you know, you're competing against uh, other teams that are trying to implement what they're trying to do. So, uh, but we just got to find a way to just be a little better uh, in the middle of the ice and then taking that away. And, um, and, and obviously, hopefully, there's games when we come out like this and uh, uh, we can, you know, jump on teams and, and get a, Get a couple goals, get a lead ourselves, so you don't feel like you have to try to force things or open up and, and be able to stay patient. So it's obviously a fine line. Um, you know, we easily could be on the other side of some of these. So I uh, just got to stay with it and keep working at it. The coach was saying today that what he wants to do with the last week of the season is sort of compartmentalize, like a theme for a day to build on something. How do you see the the rest of the season playing out in terms of what you'd like to uh, accomplish as a team and individually? Well, I mean, you just try to use the time and uh, each game to continue to get better and try to get the results you want. Uh, honestly, I don't really try to, I know personally, uh, try to view it any differently. You know, it's kind of one day after another and, um, you know, it's kind of cliche, but it's just where you just try to keep your mindset, kind of just stay in the moment and just try to work on uh, things we need to work on. Uh, challenge yourself to be consistent and play at a high level and be counted on when you're out there. How different do you think the next game on Long Island is going to be for you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it'll be probably somewhat similar. It, it is what it is. Just going to go out there and, and try to play well and, and uh, help the Maple Leafs. Is it nice that you got it, the first one, out of the way? Well, I mean, it was going to happen at some point, and obviously going back again it was going to happen again. So it's just part of it. So um, let's try to go back, and, and hopefully we can play uh, uh, better than we have. I think, obviously, they've, they've played us well, but uh, I don't think we've had our best yet either against them. So um, hopefully uh, uh, get a good day to kind of regroup and, re and respond and, and get back at it. Do you think it'll be a good primer for the fact that you may open the, the next the, the playoff series in Boston in terms of playing in front of a somewhat hostile crowd, that kind of thing? Well, I think I think pretty much everyone in, in our locker room's obviously experienced uh, uh, playing in a tough environment, playing on the road in the playoffs. So um, we'll just keep going. It's another game on our schedule, uh, and obviously we want to get the result uh, that we need. And, and each and every day is an opportunity to get better and, and uh, keep pushing forward, and obviously uh, uh, you know work towards that opportunity.